Hi, Alexandre Marin. Uh, welcome to Leiden. Uh, you'll be jo joining us from uh, September, I think. September 1st, yeah. Okay. Uh, as, a, as a PI in Active Matter? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a bit about your general research interest? Uh, sure. So uh, I'm an experimental uh, physicist and uh, my, um, my main topics of research is active materials. And active materials are uh, materials made from uh, self-propelled um, building blocks. So for instance, in, in nature, uh, flocks of birds um, are made of uh, are a material assembled from uh, many individuals. And um, this, for a physicist, would be uh, an active material because uh, of the self-propulsion uh, of uh, the birds at the individual's uh, scale. Uh -huh. And other, other examples? So this is an example from uh, nature. And physicists in, in the past uh, maybe two decades have tried to uh, make uh, synthetic uh, active materials. And uh, that's uh, sp uh, specifically uh, what I'm going to try to keep doing and uh, searching in, here in Leiden. Mm -hmm. And um, one example is um, uh, what we call a colloidal uh, flock, which mm -hmm. is a, a flock made out of uh, small uh, plastic beads, uh, colloids. And uh, with uh, the current uh, interaction, um, between, between these beads, uh, we are able to make in the lab under the microscope uh, uh, an active material. Yes, uh, you sent me a Physical Review X paper about this? Yes, uh, yes, I sent you a paper, yeah. That's a polar, polar flock, so, so I understand these, these uh, colloidal uh, particles are basically rolling over the, the bottom of the, uh, on the bottom of the um, basin. Yes. Uh, and then, um, so that, that uh, in, in the, they are propelled by an electric field. Yes, exactly. So in this system, where we have these uh, these uh, beads uh, that are sedimented on, on uh, a plane, mm -hmm. and we apply an electric field, but but not to direct their motion, just to give them the energy uh, to start rolling. But they can roll in any uh, direction uh, within the plane, so they are free to pick uh, any direction. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really important to us because um, when we investigate uh, flocking, uh, we don't, it's, in a way, it's by opposition to uh, uh, the response uh, of particle to a field. So if we apply, apply a gravity field, an apple is going to fall. Mm -hmm. Here in this system, we don't apply uh, any field that direct the motion uh, of the beads. But uh, spontaneously, uh, when the interaction between uh, the beads are strong enough, they're going to pick a, di a direction and start moving collectively. Because they influence each other. Exactly. Uh, so they are rolling in a, in a fluid, so they create a perturbation of uh, the hydrodynamic uh, fields around them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the main uh, component uh, of, of this interaction is uh, um, an alignment interaction. So particles are gonna try to uh, align with the direction of their neighbors. And uh, when these um, interactions are strong enough, when they overcome the natural noise and imperfection uh, of the substrate and, and uh, the motorization uh, of, of the individual beads, uh, a flux uh, occur and uh, particles start to move collectively. Right, so, so you get a, a kind of a collective flow. And, and um, in, in the introduction, it says um, that could be a way to, to move liquids in, a, in, a, in pipes without pushing them. Yes, yes. So it's uh, one of the particularity of, of, of these fluids is that we don't, we don't need an, an external pressure difference Mm -hmm. uh, to, to drive them, to make them flow. Uh, here, the, uh, the motion comes from uh, the building blocks the, of, of the fluid. Yeah. So is that, is that um, um, uh, something that would point to applications of this? Or? 
Yes, so for, for instance, in, in this paper you mentioned, uh, we uh, took advantage of uh, this uh, spontaneous flow uh, to couple it uh, with an external perturbation. And uh, we were able to make uh, spontaneous uh, oscillators. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically to create a clock uh, just uh, by the combination of an homogeneous drive mm -hmm. and um, the, uh, the coupled with the spontaneous flow. So, so how, how would that work? So we, we took a, a circular uh, confinement uh, when we uh, uh, created uh, this synthetic flock. And if uh, we just let the system um, to, uh, to, to settle, uh, a, the, the, a flock is going to form and, and go uh, in circle okay. uh, in, in any uh, direction. And now we imposed a, a hydrodynamic uh, flow from one side of the container to the other. Mm -hmm. uh, and this external field, uh, we just is homogeneous and does not vary in time. But for a strong enough uh, field, it's, this is going to localize the flock at uh, the boundary uh, of the confinement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the flock is going to uh, have oscillation Mm -hmm. uh, when it, it's going to follow the boundary and uh, when it uh, have to confront the, the external driving uh, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, uh, from a, an opposite direction, it's going to be reversed. So you get a kind of a wiggle. Uh, well, what's a wiggle? Sorry. A wiggle, like a, a, waving, a wavy motion. Yes, yeah, exactly. All right. And is is but then the uh, rollers are confined to the uh, to the sides of the um, channel, or are they on the on the bottom? They're down on the bottom uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and on the side. Okay, okay. Yeah. This it reminds me a bit of the the work by uh, of Luca Jomi and Daniela Kraft, who are here already. Yes. Um, so, will you have ties with them? Yes, definitely. So I'll be joining uh, in. Uh, the, the soft matter group here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm currently in, in the 10th floor. And um, so I uh, hope I, I'll have interactions with both uh, Luca and, and Daniela uh, about uh, active matter and, uh, the, uh, and, and more generally uh, about the uh, uh, assembly of, of colloidal uh, um, soft materials. Uh, All right which is one of the topic of research of Daniel. Yes, she was also working on uh, uh, moving uh, of active uh, colloids. And, and uh, is there anything in particular, your, your, uh, what is your next step in Leiden that you can tell us about? Yeah, so one of my uh, projects uh, now is uh, to study uh, another kind of uh, active materials, uh, where uh, this time, instead of having a building block that uh, have a, that propelled it itself, uh, that have a, a directive uh, motion. Uh, I'd like to uh, see what peculiar uh, properties a material uh, will have when the building blocks um, is actually rotating. Uh, or it actually? Uh, it is rotating on itself. Mm -hmm. So now the, at the, the micro scale, uh, there is uh, an angular momentum that is, uh, uh, that is the energy input. Uh, at, at the scale of the particle, mm -hmm. and um, this uh, it's it's unclear what uh, the specific properties uh, of uh, this of materials made of uh, these uh, rotating units uh, can have. Uh, in particular, regarding the uh, propagation of uh, spin waves uh, within different assembly um, of of this particle, different lattices. So, so sorry, what's the spin wave? So that would be the so uh, so the units now would be uh, rotating, and mm -hmm. what I imagine is an, an array of, of these rotating units. Mm -hmm. uh, but these units are not synchronized; uh, they independently uh, rotate. Mm -hmm. And uh, now the question is: How would a perturbation in uh, uh, this uh, rotation uh, would propagate through the assembly? Mm -hmm. and, and this can, of course, depend on uh, what is the uh, array we are looking at uh, and the, uh, the underlying uh, this is what are the interactions uh, between uh, the, the unit block. 
Uh -huh. Because you expect them to align too? Um, uh, that, that's uh, an open question. So, so I'm, I'm thinking of making some uh, rotors with um, li like a, a wine mills with a, a few uh, sticks. Okay. And, and it's really an open question to know if the, the sticks are going to align or be perpendicular to each other. So and how... propellers. Sorry? They are kind of uh, propellers. Yes, yeah. Okay. We can see it like this, yeah, exactly. All right. So, so it's, it's to be seen uh, how the behavior turns out to, to be exactly. Yes. All right. And ho hopefully, I'm going to start today uh, making the first uh, these building blocks for the first time. Oh uh, well. With, uh, with Samia in the lab here. So. Oh yes. Okay. That's exciting. All right. So you're already at work. So, uh, so these are, are kind of uh, strange times. Um, how did you prepare for uh, coming to uh, the Netherlands? Um, so we, we did our best with, with my spouse to, to move from the United States uh -huh. uh, where the situation was uh, quite bad uh, but we had a nice and resting summer where we rest uh, with my family in France mm -hmm. and we were lucky to find an apartment in Leiden uh, before we arrived so uh, so far everything is, is good all right and, uh, um Okay, as you're Dutch, uh, <laughs> it's, doing, it's doing right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's not great yet, uh, but we we've been uh, working on it uh, since yesterday. Since yeah. yesterday. <laughs> um, good. But, I think uh, I've learned that the, the Queen uh, learned Dutch in three months. All right. So I, I, I don't have any, you know, royal uh, blood. So maybe 10 times this uh, <laughs> yeah. should, be, should be enough. Yeah, she, she can be considered an example. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you for talking to me for a bit. And uh, I'll, I'll, know, uh, I'll get, leave you to your... Uh, work and uh, uh, yeah good luck and I uh, hope to see you around uh, live sometime soon that would be nice all right thank goodbye thank you bye